kamusta kayo? It's me again, Ma'am Ses. So, in this video, pag-uusapan natin yung freezing point depression. Okay? So, a non-scientist may remain forever unaware of the boiling point elevation phenomenon, but a careful observer living in a cold climate is familiar with freezing point depression. Okay? So, ice on frozen roads and sidewalks melts when sprinkled with salt such as sodium chloride and calcium chloride. So, this method of towing succeeds because it depresses the freezing point of water. Okay? So, freezing point depression defined as freezing point of the pure solvent minus the freezing point of the solution. So, here, we can see the figure here, the phase diagram of um, the phase diagram of water. Okay? So, this figure shows that lowering the vapor pressure of the solution um, shifts the solid liquid okay, curve to the left. Consequently, this line intersects the horizontal line at a temperature lower than the freezing point of water. So, so therefore, the freezing point depression is defined as freezing point of the pure substance, a pure solvent rather, minus the freezing point of the solution. Okay? So, your freezing point depression here is this. Okay, freezing point of the pure substance and freezing point of the solution. Oh, sorry. Wala kang delta dito. Tanggalin natin yan. Ayan. So, ganyan lang siya. Okay? So, mathematically, ang equation niya is freezing point of depression is equal to the freezing point of your substance minus freezing point of the solution. Okay? Um, since your um, freezing point of your solvent is greater than the freezing point of the solution, okay, so your freezing point depression is a positive quantity. So, again, your freezing point um, depression is proportional, okay, is proportional to the concentration of the solution, okay? So, here we will have, okay, so M here is the concentration of the solute in molality units and Kf is the molal freezing point depression constant. Okay? So, may kita nyo yan, yung parang katulad dun sa um, boiling point elevation, di ba? May, may, const, uh, may given din na constant value yung K sub B niya. Okay? So, yung, itong K sub, sub F naman, meron din siyang given value. Okay? So, may papakita ko yung table. Okay? Just like K sub B, K sub F has the unit then na uh, degree Celsius over molal. Okay? So, if we will compare the, kunwari meron kang given na electrolyte at saka non-electrolyte. So, kapag electrolyte, okay, you will put um, Van Hoff factor here. So, magiging point uh, freezing point depression is equal to Van Hoff factor multiplied by um, the molal, cons uh, molal freezing point depression constant times the concentration of the solute in molality units. Okay? So, for non-electrolyte naman, hindi ka mag -e include ng Van Hoff, um, Van Hoff factor. So, we will have this one. Okay? So, let's have an example. Ah, so before pala yan, um, let's have this table first. Yung kaninang diniscuss ko din sa previous slide. Ayan, so dito nyo makikita yung 
molal boiling point, elevation, and freezing point depression constant, okay, of some common liquid. Okay, so, for example, we have here water, so the molal um, freezing point depression niya is 1.86, okay. So, this is your K sub F, okay. Itong normal freezing point, this is the um, freezing point of the pure solvent. Okay, so ito yan. Oh, let's have an example. So, what is the freezing point depression of water in a solution, okay, in a solution containing 11 grams sucrose with the molar mass of 342 grams per mole and 100 grams of water? So, kuhanin muna natin yung given. Meron tayong given dito. Given natin is the mass of the solute. Mass of solute is 11 grams. Okay, so C12H22O11. Then, yung molar mass ng solute natin is 342 grams per mole. Okay? And then, mass of solvent, we have 100 grams H2O. Okay? So, ang hahanapin natin ay a freezing point ng water in a solution. Okay? Take note, ha? In a solution. So, dalawa yung formula na gagamitin natin. Itong formula na to, na may given na pure solvent minus yung solution and this one. Yung given yung molality. Okay? So, ang una natin gagawin dito ay dapat nanin malaman muna to. Okay, ito muna. Ito yung una natin gagawin. Ito. Okay? So, dito, paano natin makukuha yan? Kailangan muna natin ng KF. So, yung KF natin dito ay, okay, so 1.86. KF is 1.86 degree over M. Ayan. Next. Okay, may M ba tayo? Wala. Wala tayong molality, no? Wala. So, anong gagawin natin? Yan. Kukumputin natin ngayon yung molality. Diba sabi natin, molality is equal to mole of solute divided by kilogram of solvent. Ayan. So, we have here the given grams. So, itong grams na to, i-convert lang natin into mole. Okay. Tapos, ito namang um, mass of solvent natin in grams, convert natin into kilogram. Okay? Game. Start tayo. Solve tayo ng molarity. Ito muna. Mass of solute muna. Ayan. So, from the given, 11 grams of C12H22O11. Sundan nyo ako habang nag -ano, nagsusolve ako. Ayan. Over the molar mass. So, 1 mole of C12H22O11. Ayan. Divided by or over 300 42 grams of C12H22O11. Okay, don't forget to cancel the units. Matitira ay mole. So, 11 divided by um, 342. Ilan na mga natin? Ayan. So, we have 0 0.321 mole of sucrose. Ayan. Okay? So, meron na tayong mole. Next, convert natin tong mass of solvent natin into kilogram. So, we have here 100 grams of H2O times 1 kilogram of H2O over 1,000 grams of H2O. So, don't forget to cancel the units. So, we will have 0 0.1 kg H2O. Mam, bakit kailangan pa natin i-convert to kilogram? Kailangan talaga natin i-convert yan into kilogram. Kasi nga, di ba, kukuwalin natin yung molal. Eh, yung mo molality, ang formula niya is mole of solute divided by kilogram of um, solvent. 
So, kailangan natin convert into kilogram. Tapos, itong grams na to, mass to, di ba? Kailangan naman natin siyang i-gawing um, mole. Para makompute natin yung molality. So, pwede na ba natin makompute yung molality? Yes, pwede na. Kasi, meron na tayong mole at meron na tayong kilogram. So, M now here is M. Kasya pa ba? Ayan, kasya pa. So, we have 0. 0.321 mole of C12 H22O11 over okay so 0. 0.1 so 0. 0.1 kilogram H2O Okay, so i-compute natin to. We will have, ayan. So, 0. Point, so, this is ano. Ayan. So, this is 0. 0.0. Sorry, sorry. Ayan. 0. 0.0. So, magiging 0. 0.0 to. Ayan. So, sorry. Ayan. So, 0 0.0321 divided by 0 0.1. So, we will have 0 0.321 M. Okay. So, meron na tayong molality. We can now compute for the freezing point depression. Okay. So, for the freezing point um, depression, ayan. So, we will use this formula. So, freezing point depression is equal to molal freezing point depression constant times molality. Substitute nyo lang yung given dyan. So, we have here 1.86 multiplied by your given molality 0 0.321 m. Okay, so don't forget to cancel the unit. Ang matitira na lang ay si degree Celsius. So, kapag minultiply natin yan, we will get 5.79 degree Celsius. Is this your final answer? Ito na ba yung final answer natin? 5.79? No, hindi pa. Kasi ang tinatanong dito is freezing point ng water in a solution. Okay? So, gamit to, itong formula naman na to, kukuha ni naman natin yung freezing point ng solution. Okay? So, di ba, ito, this is the freezing point depression. This one is the freezing point depression of the pure solvent. And this is the freezing point of the solution. So, kailangan natin tong kukuha nin. So, therefore, from here, okay, palitan natin yung kulay. So, galing dito, Okay, the formula will be um, freezing point of solution is equal to freezing point of the pure substance minus the freezing point depression. Ayan, okay? So, substitute lang natin yung given. Saan natin makikita to Dito. That is zero. Okay? So, zero degree Celsius, di ba? Minus 5.79 degree Celsius. Okay? So, what will be the answer? The answer here is, okay, so we will have negative 5.79 degree Celsius. Okay? So, the freezing point of water in a solution Okay, containing 11 grams of sucrose and 100 grams of water is negative 5.79 degrees Celsius. Okay? So, ganun lang. Gusto nyo pa rin sa example? Sige, sa pang example. Okay. By this time naman, we will calculate the molality of a water solution if the freezing point is 12.5 degrees Celsius. Okay, take note ha. Nakalagay dyan, no? Molality of a water solution. Okay, so water solution. So, sulat muna natin yung given. Ayan, so we have the given. Ayan, 
given, meron tayong, okay, meron tayong freezing point ng solution, di ba? Which is, ayan, negative 12.5 degrees Celsius. Okay? Next, meron tayong value ng Kf from the table. Ang Kf ng water is, okay, 1.86. So, 1.86 over M. Okay? So, ang kailangan nating makuha is the molality of a water solution. Okay? So, dito, dalawa ulit yung gagamitin nating formula. Formula na to. At yung formula na to. Okay. Di ba kanina, ang inuna natin ay ito? By this time naman, ito naman ang uunahin natin. Okay. Kasi, kailangan muna natin, kasi ang kailangan natin is molality, di ba? So, kailangan natin makuha yung uh, value nito. Okay? So, para makuha yung value na to, um, kailangan natin gamitin yung formula na to. Okay? So, given na yung um, freezing point ng solution natin, which is negative 12.5, di ba? Okay. Tapos, ang value naman ng pure solvent natin is zero. Tama? Okay. Sige, gamitin natin to. So, your freezing point depression now is equal to, substitute natin, 0 degree minus negative 12.5 degree Celsius. Okay? So, this is now 12.5 degree Celsius. So, positive. Okay? So, meron na tayong value ng um, freezing point depression. Ano next na gagawin natin? Okay, calculate na natin yung molality. Pero, kailangan muna natin i-derive yung formula ni molality. So, from this formula, ito na yung gagamitin natin ha. From this formula, derive natin yung molality. Okay. So, divide both side by Kf, K sub F. So, cancel, cancel. So, the formula, formulality now is this. Okay, so ito yung gagamitin nating formula. Okay, so game. Substitute na natin. Ayan, so pag substitute na natin, so from given um, freezing point depression, we have ito, 12.5. Um, so we have 12.5 degrees Celsius. All over your KS, K sub F, we have, okay, 1.86. 1.86 degrees Celsius over molal. Okay, don't forget to cancel the unit. So, 1.25 divided by 1.86. Uh, 12.5 divided by 1.86. So, we have 6.45. So, 6.45. Is this your final answer? Yes. Ito na yung final answer natin. Kasi, um, ito na yung nahanap nating molality ng water solution. So, therefore, um, yung, the calculated molality of water solution when the freezing point is negative 12.5 degrees Celsius is 6.45 M. Okay? So, ganun lang siya. Okay? So, sana may natutunan kayo. If you have questions regarding this, pwede kayo magtanong sa akin. Okay? Feel free na magtanong, mag-message lang sa akin, mag-comment. Okay? Um, thank you for listening. I hope na may natutunan kayo. God bless us all.